And part D, for 0 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 8, is there some time, is there a time t when the rate at which water is pumped into the tank is the same as the rate at which water is removed from the tank and explain why or why not. So um, we talked about in part C that the rate of change of water in the tank is going to be the amount pumped in um, minus the amount pumped out. Okay, uh, we know that this here will be continuous and differentiable um, everywhere, which is nice and useful. We also are told, let's see, that it's modeled by R of t, where R is differentiable. Differential means it's continuous. So um, basically, I, be, I need to see if w of t equals r of t, that implies that this minus r of t equals 0. Okay, uh, and now I'm going to do a little bit of stuff in the calculator. Basically, all I need to see it's going to be an intermediate um, value theorem problem is I need to see if, if at some point I want to show that this is bigger than zero and then at some other point less than zero or the other way around. So in here, um, let me just go to the calculator for this. So I'll consider at time zero and then I'll consider at time eight. Um, so here, w of 0 is 2,000, well, yeah, I could find out easier, but 2,000 e to the 0, sure, which is going to be 2,000. All right, so what we have here is w of 0 minus r of 0 is going to be 2,000 minus 1,340, which is going to be 660. All right, next thing I'm going to uh, see if it changes signs somewhere. Now the easiest way is just go to the end, and if it, this doesn't work, I could try some of the other points. If that doesn't work, I could you know consider the graph, see some more stuff, but this should be good enough. I'm just sort of guessing what's going to happen when I put this 8 into w. So let me do that. Um, w of 8 will be 2,000 times e to the negative 8 squared divided by 20, which gives me 81.524. Okay, so put that down w of 8 minus r of 8 is, let me double check, 81.524 minus 700, which is going to be, uh, let me, uh, well, I guess it's approximately. So that's going to be negative 6, 1, 8, Point four seven six. I just see if I'm good with that. Yep, sure. All right, I guess I did backwards, but yeah, negative. Okay, and so here's the important thing now. So we know that W of T minus R of T is differentiable and therefore continuous. We know that w of 0 minus r of 0 is 660. w of 8 minus r of 8 
is negative 618.476. So therefore, um, W of T minus R of T must equal zero at some time in the interval 0, 8. And finally, if that equals 0, then W of T will equal R of T at that time. And you could sort of streamline this process a little bit, but that's the idea. Find if they are continuous, that gives us, um, oh, I guess I need to say, will equal 0 by the intermediate value theorem. So you have the intermediate value theorem, the extreme value theorem, and the mean value theorem. Most often I've seen them uh, use intermediate value theorem, though it's very useful for problems like this.